This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to War and Pieces. Today we are talking about, well it's kind of like a part two to Armageddon War. We're talking about Burning Lands, the expansion for Armageddon War. Now there's quite a bit to talk about, but the first thing that we're going to do, want to do is we're going to want to take a look at some of the components that come in this thing. Now you get another board, and of course this board is absolutely spectacular, and I'm going to hold it up and open it for you, because we're not going to go down and, and, and spend a lot of time, but the boards are always like ridiculously great from this company. I mean you can never go wrong. See I'm peeking through a little hole here so I can see you guys and um, just just fantastic but the thing that makes burning burning lands really essential is the ability to yes that's right play this entire game solo you can play armageddon war solo and the reason you can do that is is that i wouldn't even call it an ai but you kind of you have these these cards and you're going to draw a card each each time an enemy unit goes and it's going to have levels of aggression 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 uh, what's going to happen is it's going to tell you whether they're going to move half and what type of infantry remember yellow is armor red is is infantry blue is air units so it's going to tell you which which it's going to target and fire on sometimes it's able to fire on things sometimes it's not but they're always going to move towards like if it, if it says uh, a yellow move it's going to move towards armor but fire at the infantry really really interesting how how these cards really work and it it it, it actually breaks down you know armor these are the actions that'll take infantry so so you know i thought maybe it would be clunky and i tried it and i was like oh my god this is awesome this really is awesome uh, of course, I mean, what should, should you expect from 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 Mark and Greg? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what else I can tell you. You also get some more units, and I want to show you guys um, one of the one of the things here that you actually get some more units, and it comes with a bunch of solo missions. But here's the thing that 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 really works in this is that you can use this with Armageddon War. So all the uh, scenarios that are in there you can apply the solo rules to and it fits pretty well there's a couple of minor adjustments on a couple of the can the the things uh the uh, scenarios but very minute changes and these cards really m make it work I, i've used this on armageddon more and it's superb the additional units that you get are again really great and they really add some more flavor to this <sighs> this is something else then there's only one thing I can really really say and if you are a fan of Mark Walker Walker's games old school tactical um, 65 you're gonna love it because it's that same feel but there's something different about this and I just love how it's the near future 2028 10 years from now and how everything has broken down and now you are fighting these unbelievable wars in the burning lands and let me tell you something this is well worth it if you are going to get Armageddon Wars you're going to want this bad boy as well because you do not lose anything from the game if you play with somebody now I know uh, the Jarl and I are going to be doing this live, and I can't wait to do it. And there, you could, again, you could play it one one versus many, or one uh, you know, one on one, or solo. It doesn't matter. It never loses anything in any of those particular environments, and it is probably becoming one of my favorite war games. I really enjoyed this. I love the beauty of it. The aesthetics of it everything about this another great job and this expansion adds a lot I'm gonna give this 4.4 out of 5 I love it make sure you guys go get it 
and uh, I'm sure you will love it. Flying Pig Games. Boy, you guys are killing it old school. Ah, get it old school. <laughs> Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.